I'm often asked about the composition of a low carb diet, thinking about the amount of fat and type of fat that you might consume. Uh, and an interesting point is that if you're overweight, then presumably you've got quite a lot of fat, body fat, that you'd like to burn. So perhaps it doesn't make sense to have too much fat in your low carb diet, because really you want to be burning the fat you've got on board already. That brings me to another subject. I have another group of patients who I never thought I'd see, people who've lost too much weight. And this represents an opportunity, um, again, about the composition. Because if either you're now at a point where you can maintain your weight, or you even want to gain some weight, you can look at the amount of fat that's in the diet to adjust that. So for, I've, for those of you maybe um, starting to think, have I lost too much weight, you can start having more healthy fats. Or those of you who are maintaining can stop cutting back. And again, perhaps you can be a bit more flexible with healthy fats. I suppose you're now wondering, what, I, what do I mean by healthy fats? Well, things like nuts contain a lot of healthy fats. Avocados contain healthy fats. Then there's the fats you're cooking with. I don't think anybody's got an objection to olive oil. But recently, and for me, um, it's very interesting, the fats that are in dairy foods do not seem to be as damaging as we thought. So personally, I have no problem with butter, I have no problem with cheese, and I have no problem with full fat full fat yogurt. There's quite a lot of research uh, on that. A little bit more controversial are some of the animal fats. Uh, these have some advantages because something like lard is actually very stable at high temperature, so it makes quite a good thing to fry your steak in. And again, speaking personally, I do cook in lard and I don't worry about it. Perhaps it's not as damaging as we thought.